Before we begin, I want to wish a happy life to the person celebrating their birthday today. Without further ado, let's dive right into the storyline. A scientist created a machine that allows people to record and then watch their memories. However, not long after the presentation of his device, he was found dead in his office. Then, a stranger claiming to know the scientist begins an investigation into the mysterious death. The movie opens with Sam celebrating her brother Dash's newly signed recording contract. Later that night, as they leave the bar singing along to one of Dash's songs, they suddenly have a car crash that kills Dash, leaving Sam to figure out his brother's last words. A few years later, Sam continues his life as a model maker. One day, He's seen diligently writing a letter addressed to a person named Gordon Dunn. It becomes clear that Gordon is a scientist who has invented a groundbreaking machine capable of recalling and playing back memories with astonishing clarity, offering a profound way to understand the past. As Gordon demonstrates the device, playing extracted memories of several test subjects to the audience, keen-eyed viewers notice a girl leaving the room. Once off stage, Gordon meets with Lawton, the CEO of the company that sponsored his invention. Lawton is eager to launch the prototype convinced of its potential to help those suffering from Alzheimer's. However, Gordon insists he needs more time to thoroughly examine the test subject's experiences. Meanwhile, while waiting to speak with Gordon, Sam observes a conversation between Gordon and a girl named Wendy, the same one who left earlier. Wendy, a test subject, voices her dissatisfaction with Gordon for sharing her memories in front of an audience without her knowledge, and she desperately wants them back. In the crowd, Another test subject is also seen watching Gordon from a distance. Outside Gordon's office, Sam appears to be summoning his courage to hand his letter to Gordon. Meanwhile, inside the office, Gordon seems lost in deep thought and then decides to watch a memory of himself having a good time with his wife and daughter. The memory is so vivid that Gordon can even fast forward to a specific event. Suddenly, he is startled by another test subject we saw earlier. Todd reveals that his life was better before but has been shattered because Gordon brought back memories he had long forgotten. Outside, Wendy also arrives and goes inside while Todd leaves the building. After some time, Sam sees Wendy return to her car with Gordon's device. In her car, after watching Gordon's memories, she then drives away and Sam follows her. Meanwhile, Gordon is found lying dead on the floor. After a while, it turns out Wendy is on her way to Gordon's house. Upon arrival, she places the device in Gordon's office and leaves without noticing Sam. The next day, a detective arrives at the scene along with Lawton. The detective discovers bullet holes in the painting, but there are no bullet wounds on Gordon's body. This piques the detective's curiosity about the cause of death prompting a request for the CCTV footage. Meanwhile, in another scene, Gordon's wife, Carolyn, has just been informed about her husband's death. To the media, Lawton states that they believe Gordon died of natural causes, even though there's an ongoing police investigation. He also announces that the production of the machine will begin soon. Gordon's death comes as a surprise to Sam, who has just found out. Back with Lawton, Gordon's research assistant, Neil explains that only Gordon knows how to build the machine, and all the data about it is encrypted. The only way is to replicate the missing prototype, but that will take approximately one year. At Gordon's house, after all the guests from the funeral reception have left, Sam arrives to offer his condolences along with a bottle of whiskey. He introduces himself to Carolyn as James and claims that Gordon saved his life. Sam begins to share how he met Gordon at a hotel bar, both of them broken and in need of someone to confide in. They opened up to each other in a way they never had with anyone else before. Sam recounts how he lost his brother, remembering every detail of the car crash except his brother's last words. In turn, Gordon shared the painful story of losing his daughter. Sam reflects on that night, realizing that if Gordon could find a way to navigate through his own loss, he could too. This realization fills Sam with a sense of gratitude towards Gordon. Sam also just finds out that there's an investigation about Gordon's death, in which the police found bullet holes in Gordon's office. This surprises Sam, as he had believed Gordon's death to be from natural causes. As Sam departs, he discreetly takes Gordon's office key. Inside Gordon's office, he retrieves the memory machine along with scattered memory disks on the floor. At Sam's place, he begins to activate the rememory machine to learn about it by playing through Gordon's journal. With the machine, a pure memory is recorded onto a memory glass. These recorded memories can be played back for the patient and others to experience. However, to recall and record a specific memory, a therapist is crucial in guiding the patient. Additionally, while the idea of selectively resetting or deleting memories is theoretically possible, the risks remain unknown at this time. Sam then begins to record his memories, and we can see random moments from his life, when he's celebrating his birthday and hanging out with his brother. However, he still can't access the memories of the car accident. In another location, while reviewing the CCTV footage, Neil discovers Sam on the CCTV. Back with Sam, he suddenly wakes up, then experiences a hallucination. He can see himself with his brother on the night of the car accident, 
where he asked to drive. The next day, after identifying who gained access to the building, and knowing they are test participants of Gordon, Lorton wants to interrogate all of the test group participants, including Sam, whom the security can't identify. In the next scene, Sam starts to investigate what happened to Gordon by checking each memory glass of everyone in the test group. As he watches their recorded memories, he carefully observes and makes notes of any information that could help him figure out who belongs to the test group. After some time, he successfully reviews and analyzes the memories of each individual, trying to piece together relevant information. At first, Sam goes to a nursing home to meet a World War II veteran named Charles. When he sees Sam's briefcase, he immediately recognizes the memory device and asks Sam to play his memories. We can see Charles crying while watching his memories from when he was a kid, being drafted into the war, meeting the love of his life and having a child until his wife passed away. After watching his memories, Sam asks Charles who else is in the test group. Charles then mentions a girl named Allison. Sam also asks about how Gordon told Charles to go back to a specific moment, to which Charles responds, just be focused. While Sam is heading to meet Allison, Carolyn is informed by a detective that there are unusually high levels of substances detected in the toxicology report. They are also still investigating the bullet hole. Carolyn then mentions that Lawton came to her house to check Gordon's office, but she did not allow him to. Back with Sam, he arrives at Allison's house and claims he works for Cortex to come check Allison's condition. Surprisingly, Allison is dead, she killed herself three weeks ago. When Allison is about to close the door, Sam tells her that he is Allison's memories. Allison's sister begins to watch Allison's memories, and we can see she is struggling with depression. The only happy memory she has is from her birthday. When she decided to join as a test participant, instead of getting better, her past memories made her even more depressed. Allison's sister mentions that Lawton came to give her a check to keep Allison's death a secret. She also remembers that Neil came to confirm if Allison really killed herself, and was shocked when he found out that it's true. When Sam gets back to his car, someone leaves a note on his windshield asking to meet him tomorrow on Ura Bridge. Sam finally arrives at his place and begins to record his memories with more focus. Although he can manage to recall moments before and after the car crash, his memories skip and jump to when he was looking for help. He still can't remember his brother's last words. Not long after, he gets a hallucination again, seeing his brother playing a guitar. However, the hallucination quickly disappears as soon as Sam closes his eyes. The next day, Neil finally meets with Sam and asks for the machine. But of course, Sam denies having it. Sam who claims to work for someone investigating Gordon's death, is willing to help Neil find the machine. He then asks Neil about Allison. Neil explains that he and Gordon didn't follow up on Allison's condition after her test phase was over, and Lawton kept Allison's death a secret from them because he was eager to launch the machine right away. If Gordon had known, he would have fixed the machine but it would have taken months and Lawton didn't want to wait. With that information, Sam has more clues that could lead him to the truth. He decides to reanalyze one of the memory glasses and finds out that Gordon seems to be having an affair. Sam looks deeply into it and realizes the memories belong to Wendy. He also manages to find out where she works. He then goes to meet her. At first, Sam talks about the painting, then mentions Gordon's name, which captures Wendy's attention. Sam tells Wendy that he works for Gordon's widow and knows about her affair with Gordon and the fact that she took the machine. Wendy begins to explain that they loved each other, but Wendy becomes upset when Gordon took her memories with her ex-boyfriend and showed them to the audience. That's the reason she took the machine. When she went to Gordon's office that night, she failed to retrieve her memories. This makes her depressed knowing that the machine and her memories are now missing. Sam assures Wendy that he will help find out who killed Gordon and retrieve her memories. Wendy then suggests Sam talk with Todd, who also seems unhappy about the machine. The scene then moves to Gordon's house where Sam brings a coffee machine to Carolyn. As they engage in conversation, Carolyn opens up about how she met Gordon. She also shares that after their daughter Jane passed away, Gordon immersed himself in work and eventually found comfort in another woman. However, Carolyn still loves Gordon. On the other hand, Sam feels grateful that his short friendship with Gordon led him to get to know Carolyn, which has become a cherished part of his memories. At Sam's place, he decides to try again to record his memories, specifically focusing on the moment of the car crash. When he succeeds, he is startled to find blood suddenly streaming from his head, and he realizes he is hallucinating when he sees his brother. The next morning, Sam digs deeper into Todd's memories. After some time analyzing Todd's memories, he comes across a memory of Todd being shot. Sam manages to find Todd in his workshop. When asked about Gordon, Todd becomes angry and demands that Sam leave. Sam doesn't give up and suddenly opens Todd's safe, knowing the combination from watching Todd's memories. Sam asks Todd if he killed Gordon, as he knows they had a fight. However, Todd insists that he didn't kill Gordon and is willing to explain what actually happened. Todd reveals that Gordon didn't inform him about how the machine works, which brought back memories he had buried. Todd then has a flashback to when his co-worker was killed, and he himself ended up getting shot. 
a memory that haunts him daily. Sam then asks Todd to prove he didn't kill Gordon by recording his memories. It turns out that Todd is telling the truth. Later, when Todd crosses paths with Wendy, Sam thinks that Wendy set up Todd. Todd confirms that she had a motive. She blamed Todd for Gordon breaking up with her because Todd knew about their affair and threatened to tell Gordon's wife if Gordon didn't heal him. In the next scene, as Sam heads to Carolyn's house, he experiences another hallucination of his brother. This time, the hallucination feels so real that Sam can communicate with his brother. Meanwhile, at the nursing home, Lawton is given information that Sam visited Charles carrying the same briefcase as Gordon. Sam finally arrives at Carolyn's house, and she notices that Sam is carrying Gordon's machine. When Sam explains that he just wants to use it to figure out who killed Gordon and that he is very close to solving the mystery, suddenly Lawton also arrives for a visit. Sam then pleads with Carolyn not to let Lawton know he is here, as Lawton has been lying to Gordon all this time. Lawton then comes in and begins to tell Carolyn that Gordon's memory machine is missing, and he believes the one who took it is the killer. When Lawton shows Carolyn a picture of Sam, whom he believes is the killer, she is a little shocked because all this time Sam told her his name is James. However, Carolyn seems to have faith that Sam is not the killer after feeling threatened by Lawton's demeanor. After Lawton leaves, Carolyn demands an explanation about Sam's real name and if he really knew Gordon and met him in the hotel bar. When Sam tells Carolyn about her daughter Jane and how much Gordon loved her, and recounts the details of how Carolyn wanted to surprise her on her 10th birthday, Carolyn finally believes Sam. Sam then reveals that Wendy is the last person who saw Gordon alive and he wants to see what she saw. To do that, Sam needs Carolyn's help. Before that, Carolyn wants to try the machine. As Carolyn engaged with the machine, her cherished memories with Gordon and her daughter came to life. The mix of emotions swirled as they were seen playing together, leading up to the heartbreaking moment of her daughter's passing. Carolyn became fully immersed, watching her younger self with a mix of nostalgia and emotion. Next day, Sam sends a letter to Wendy to meet him. Wendy then goes to the place where she got lost in a maze as a kid. She starts looking around and begins to panic. Suddenly, Carolyn's presence startles her. Carolyn then reveals that she knows everything, that Wendy killed Gordon. Wendy denies and instead claims that she and Gordon shared a deep love and memories that she never shared with Carolyn. However, despite their connection, Gordon ultimately chose Carolyn over Wendy, leaving her feeling abandoned. Wendy's main desire now is to get back her memories. Before she can get her memories back, Wendy has to prove that she didn't kill Gordon. As we can see, Gordon is already dead when Wendy found him, and it seems he was using the memory machine. Wendy then takes the machine along with Gordon's memory glass. After knowing the truth, as she promised, Carolyn gives Wendy her memories and in return, Wendy also hands over Gordon's memory glass to Carolyn. After finishing his model depicting the current events of his life, Sam dedicates himself to recalling his memories once again. He activates the machine, and this time, he becomes completely immersed in his memories. Sam watches himself getting into a car with his brother, where he insists on driving. He sits quietly in the back, listening to them sing along to one of his brother's songs, and he knows exactly they are about to have a car crash. Finally, Sam is able to see his forgotten memories and he bursts into tears upon hearing his brother's last words, which were him singing his song. Then, to his surprise, Sam realizes he has other memories that he had forgotten all this time. He goes to check the other car and shockingly, he had a car crash with Gordon, his wife, and most shockingly, their daughter Jane was also in the car. Realizing that he was responsible for Jane's death, Sam bursts into tears for what he has done. He then takes his memory glass and contemplates what he's going to do with it. The next scene takes place at the same beach where Carolyn spent time with Gordon and her daughter. Sam persuades Carolyn to watch Gordon's memories. In Gordon's memories, he expresses regret for what his machine did to Todd, bringing back buried painful memories and causing him to suffer. Gordon then uses the machine to select and delete his bad memories, leading to a synaptic failure that ultimately results in his death. After witnessing Gordon's decision to delete his bad memories, Carolyn views it as just a few among the many beautiful memories. She then takes Gordon's memory glass and places it in a bottle. Meanwhile, after successfully recalling his lost memories, Sam finally realizes and confesses to Carolyn that the real reason he met Gordon at the hotel was because he knew who he was, and wanted to apologize, but he couldn't find the words. Sam then hands Carolyn his memory glass, allowing her to understand who he truly is, and he expresses his deepest apologies. After Sam leaves, Carolyn also places his memory glass into the bottle alongside Gordon's and tosses it away. Suddenly, she sees her daughter playing in the water. The end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting movie recaps. See you in the next video.